All right, we're going to go ahead and choose File, New. I guess we can leave transparency there. And if you look over here, we got these options for custom shapes. And there's custom shapes that you can download that are free. that are vector shapes, and they can be used in Hexagon. And I got this one here that I'm going to select. Hold the Shift key and drag it out. And I can, if I want to, it's not a necessity, I can just trim it. And we're going to save this one as an export, as a path to Adobe Illustrator, Untitled One, AI. Alright, we're going to make a new one here, File New. We're going to select a different one. Like that one there, hold the shift key so it comes out uniform. Shift and drag them in on that. And we'll go ahead and trim this one. And we'll save this one out as number two. Alright, we're going to go ahead and bring the number one in. Open. Need to go in the top view mode here, and we're going to delete some of these that are not needed. And we're going to scale this one down. As you can see, we got one curve here, and we're going to use the line tool, and we're going to use a square here. Just a little bit. We'll select this one here and we're going to tip it. Let's bring this one over here. And it does matter which is selected first, so we'll select this and see what happens. And extrude line and click the square. And of course, that's not going to work. So we'll select the square first, then select here. Then everything's working like it's shit. Collapse DG here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, select here. And the bottom here. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, bridge it across. We're going to go ahead and scale this down just a little bit. And bring it up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom way in here. And I'm going to select the edge here. And we're going to select the edge on the other side. And let's make sure we got this right. And we're going to go ahead and bridge at. I'm going to select this and we're going to just go ahead and cut this and paste this. We'll give this a new material. And we're going to just give this a little bit darker blue here. And we're going to give it some transparency. We're going to bring this up just a little bit and we're going to hide them for now and we're going to the next step all right we're going to add to this so we'll need to file import which will add to here without deleting these here and we'll go for the number two and open it okay as we can see we got our shape here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to hide this one for now Selecting here, Control A, and we need to go into the uh, sweep surface and click it. If it tips like this, hit the space bar and bring it about right here. Double click to be done, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to close this. Close all. Now 
this is going to have some bad geometry, so uh, don't expect to subdivide it or anything. So that's basically how it's going to work. I'm going to bring this one up so we can see it, and we're going to extrude this one this way. And we're going to bring this down. Use the Boolean operation. And validate it. Take a look around. Sometimes you'll get some stray uh, edges coming off this. And you just got to look around. And that don't look too bad. And we're going to go ahead and put it into the picture frame that we made. All right. Anything that's in here that's highlighted and active, I'm just going to press weld and weld all, and it's going to bring it into one little group here. And we can do our transparency. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this one over here. Let's turn on wireframe so I can see what I'm doing a little bit. there. 